Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can use a DSUSB external trigger with Control My Nikon. The main reason you'd want to use a DSUSB is if you have an older Nikon body that does not support tethered bulb mode. Only newer Nikon bodies allow you to set the shutter speed to bulb and then trigger the shutter while tethered. Older bodies just did not permit it, even though it would have bulb in the shutter list. And this is a firmware limitation. So to get around that, what you can do on those older bodies is use a DSUSB device. And here we're looking at two devices. Here we have a DSUSB1 on the left, and a DSUSB IR on the right. The one on the right uses infrared signals to your body to trigger it. So you plug one of these into the USB port in your computer then you use the supplied DSUSB cable to run from that DSUSB box to your camera body and then in Control My Nikon you go up here after you've connected under tools and click on DSUSB. So now if you're doing a long exposure and you type in the amount of seconds you want for your exposure and then you click on capture the signal to trigger the camera will be sent via the DSUSB and not the regular USB cable that we're tethering with. And even if you're not in bulb mode, let's say you're just shooting at say 1 60th, if you're still connected with your DSUSB here when you click on the shoot button the triggering of the body will be done through the DSUSB. If you turn this off, like it is right now, and then you try to shoot, then Control My Nikon will attempt to send the trigger signal through the regular USB cable. So maybe if you're doing astrophotography and you have an older body, maybe like a D7000 connected to your telescope, all you need to do is hook up your DSUSB to the body, Plug that into your computer, enable the DSUSB here, go to long exposure, and type in the seconds and click on capture. We'll just ensure that you are in bulb mode first. If you're having any problems trying to get Control My Icon to control your DSUSB, shut down Control My Icon and then try the DSUSB utility that came with the device to see if you can get it to trigger the shutter on your camera. Once it's working there, come on back into Control My Icon and give it another try. Just going to go into the help here, down to integration, DSUSB. When you're using the DSUSB, the LED on the DSUSB box will change colors. So if it's a solid red, that means that the DSUSB is connected to your computer, but it's not yet being controlled by Control My Icon. If you enable it in Control My Icon, the LED will turn solid green. And if you click on Capture or Shoot in Control My Icon while DSUSB is enabled, the LED will turn off. Then, after the capture is complete, the LED will turn back to green. So that's it. That's how you use the DSUSB in Control My Icon. Happy tethering.